On this episode of Would Jamie Eat It, we are going bananas. Literally. All right, welcome back to Would Jamie Eat It? I am Barkley. This is our resident nutrition expert, Mr. Jamie Rothermick. And right. today he is banana man because we are going bananas. We're talking about bananas. The reason this topic came up is I was going through the grocery store line the other day, checking out, and one of the people who works there flagged me down and asked me, she's a Would Jamie Eat It? viewer. Wow. She asked Thank me, you. can you guys please do an episode on bananas? Mm -hmm. The good, the bad, the verdicts, but also the issue of organic versus conventional bananas. Is it worth it to actually pay the extra money for organic bananas? Well, and you got some. We got mm -hmm. some right here. So lots to get to in this episode. Yep. Give us your good, your bad, your verdict, and your take on this whole organic banana issue. All right, let's knock it out. <laughs> the good about bananas, organic or conventional, is that they have a good amount of fiber, a good amount of vitamins and minerals, yep. like especially in B6 and potassium. But they're also thought to improve or provide benefit to our cardiovascular and our digestive health. Okay. Now the bad, let's get into what that person at your grocery store asked. Conventionally raised bananas are gonna be higher in pesticide residues. Sure. And you think, all right, well it's got a skin, I can peel that mm -hmm. off. And that's fine, but that skin could have that residue on it because we usually don't wash bananas, right? I don't. But also, when the soil has pesticides in it, these bananas can absorb those pesticides into it. So even when we eat it, we're still getting those pesticides. So you're saying when it's on the skin, it'll transfer to your fingers yep. and your fingers will transfer to wherever? Mm -hmm. and... Correct. Okay. The bad of organic, I guess it's really just expense, but it's probably just a few cents. So the verdict is that I love bananas. I use them in the mocha chocolatey smoothie I make as a sweetener. I use them in oatmeal when I add a little fat to that, like nuts or a little bit of protein to okay. that as well. Uh, but I don't like the pesticides. So I'm gonna always stick to organic bananas. And what about this myth? Well, I'll, first of all, I won't say it's a myth. What about this issue of mm -hmm. are bananas really that much higher in sugar than some of the other popular fruits like apples or et cetera? People are afraid to eat bananas because of that. And it's really for naught because a banana versus an apple, the banana may have a gram or two more of yeah. carbohydrate or sugar in okay. it. So it's really negligible. So it is a myth. It is a myth. Okay. Yeah. So there you go, Kristen. There's our uh, banana verdict from mm -hmm. uh, Banana Man here, Jamie Rothermick. <laughs> uh, great insight as always. Thank you. WouldJamieEatIt.com. You can find a whole lot more insight from this guy in Facebook.com slash WouldJamieEatIt. Mm -hmm. Send us your submissions and we'll see if we can get them on an upcoming episode. One more thing. Eat with purpose. Be well. Definitely be well. Thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you next time on Would Jamie Eat It. Boom.